Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be do, doing linear regression with personal data costs. Today we're going to be focusing on how to uh, make a, a regression model work when the data is not quite so much a linear relationship without using a whole nother model. I'm showing you the difference basically by changing the polynomial degree when you add polynomial features. Anyways, guys, and then I'll show you later the, um, you know, the biggest impact it can have for the positive effect. Before we get started, guys, um, this is going to be our data set, medical cost. As you know, uh, medical costs are very expensive. Okay, especially here in the U.S. Anyways, guys, as you can see, before I get to the notebook, we're going to need to do some encoding. Okay, female and no. I mean, uh, sex and... Sex and smoker. Sorry, my bad. Anyways, guys, if you guys are here for the first time, um, be sure to hit like and subscribe. If you guys are also here for the first time be advised on my channel i'm only i mostly focus on uh, machine learning engineering therefore you'll find a lot more technical stuff on my channel but you'll see some of uh, the data science side like this on my channel as well i've been doing that a little bit lately check out my reinforcement learning videos SageMaker pipelines videos google cloud deployments you name it i got it Check out my entire channel. Like I say, guys, um, if you're here already, there's something you probably need. Just saying, um, check out. I've got over 130 videos. Okay. Now, anyways, guys, uh, yeah, one more we're going to encode is the region. And as you can see, the charges are going to be the target. Anyways, guys, Kaggle's a good place where you can uh, go to get free data sets. And uh, let's dive into the code. Before we dive in, guys, um, just so you know, you don't need to do the unzip function. It can still read it if you want. And uh, one more thing, guys, I was just letting you know. Um, my channel, um, yeah, I was going to let you guys know. Um, Please leave a comment to tell me what kind of videos you guys might want to do. I appreciate the last comment from the other guy, um, shout out to him, who told me to do the SageMaker reinforcement learning. Although I have no SageMaker reinforcement learning, I have other SageMaker videos like I told him. I need to get another AWS account and then that's where I need y'all's help. If you guys help me support the channel, um, by, you know, sharing, liking, subscribing, even uh, donating on the super thanks. That helps a lot, every little bit. Or you can go to PayPal. There's many ways to support me. However you guys feel to support me, you know, uh, however much, whether it's a like, a subscribe, sharing, donating, um, whatever, it's all up to you. Anyways, guys, um... We're going to import pandas as pd because we got to read it remember matplotlib letter te later test train split okay read it head like we talked about on the other thing um we got to do some encoding fill in a's n place equals true always Remember, guys, you always pass this right here. N place equals true always. Because if you just do DF fill in A zero, but you don't do N place and true, it may not get all the nons. And then, guys, this is how we encode. Sometimes on some data sets, you might have to change string to something else. Just letting you guys know. And then pass this right here. This works for nearly every data set, but you guys might have to change this. Okay, X equals everything but charges, which is DF drop charges on an axis of one. DF head, just to look at it again. 
Okay, and then the charges.values. As you can see, here's the thing, guys. In linear regression, the model has to have a linear relationship. This is, I would say, not too much of a linear relationship because you guys see, you see how it's scattered all around here, but it's still somewhat linear, as in it's going up in this reg plot. Uh, I would say it's a little um, out of whack up here to call it linear. I would still say somewhat, and you can still use a linear. However, guys, if you guys choose to use a different model than this, go ahead. But we're focusing on one uh, important metric, which would be the polynomial degree, which I'm going to show you guys in a little bit. Okay, matplotlib, plot x, the features. Okay, we can see the features right there. Guys, one more cool thing on, on Google Colab. You can open this as a new tab or you can save it, just so you guys know. The charges. There's our target. Okay. And guys, this is what I was talking about. If you do fill in A0 like I was talking about, it won't get rid of the non. So you got to do n place equals true and then replace zero with a, a number number if you guys desire. Although, guys, um, if you have a whole um, column full of nons, it would be best to just drop the whole column. Okay, and then um, test train split. As you know, we got to do test train split so we can cross validate. Okay, this is what I was talking about, the polynomial degree when we had polynomial features. Okay, uh, let's get down to the product before we get to it. You see, guys, how it's an 80% R2 score? Well, um, let's try changing this to another one, and you guys see there's, there's a big difference. Okay, polyfit transform, new model, fit. Okay. And then the predicted line. Let's see the different prediction. Whoa. I don't think the R2 score is going to be as high. You see? You guys see how big of a difference that was? When it was 4, it was 80%. You guys see? Just by changing the degree. Look at the big impact. That one was in the negatives. Anyways, guys, like I'm telling you, um, uh, I'm... Uh, I would really appreciate you guys if you guys showed my videos to other people. And guys, remember, when we do a, a reg plots or LM plots, remember, the data is the DF. And then we pick two things, the BMI and the charges. The Y is the target. We picked X because the BMI. You know, it was a good correlation. You know, the BMI goes hand in hand with the charges, I would tend to think, right? Your body mass index. If a person is obese, I would tend to think the charges might be higher, right? Anyways, guys, um, one more thing. Uh, I would re really appreciate you guys if you guys shared my videos. And particularly, not just any video, but specific videos on my channel. Check out my playlist and my channel pages. You'll find so many videos with the reinforcement learning for training, cloud deployments, streamlit web apps. You guys name it, I got it. And guys, uh, keep in mind one more thing. Um, uh, like, uh, like I said about the guy who left a comment, I would really appreciate it if you guys would also leave comments too, letting me know. And to the other guy who made the comment, I haven't forgotten about him. And to the lady the other day who uh, left a comment, um, you know, for reinforcement learning, sorry I don't uh, have GitHubs for all of it, but I do for the uh, first video you commented on. I got a GitHub. I gave it to another guy. Check the comments on that page. Anyways, guys, um, I hope you enjoyed my videos. Stay tuned. And uh, remember, there's other ways you can help me out, too, um, besides uh, sharing. Like and subscribing, it'll help me out a lot. But also, um, 
If you guys feel like donating, don't be a stranger. It takes a lot to keep this running. And uh, also, if you guys choose to do my convolutional neural network videos, you guys might have to do Google Colab Pro. Remember, you can run it on uh, higher uh, hardware accelerators and everything else, and it'll speed up training time. Anyways, guys, uh, stay tuned till next time. I'm going to take a little break, I think. And don't worry, uh, to the guy who left the comment, um, I haven't forgotten about you. When I do my AWS account, I get a new one. That's going to be my first video. Thank you, guys. Stay tuned. Bye.